The system building is gives you the opportunity in to show um, the beauty of your soul to yourself and nobody else, and to teach you how to reach it. It's uh, it's a tool for you to get to know how to operate where your soul is. We don't do anything else to fly. We call it a flight system, but if in, fact, in fact, in reality, is an expansion system of the soul. In a way, it's a key to unlock the soul of the man from the prison of the physicality of the man. When we go back to a lot of teachings, when we talk about from the beginning, that the soul of the man, the, what you call the spirit, or you call the soul of physicality, has um, imprisoned the soul of the man. And if you learn the other parts of the teaching, where, you know, like a tokamak in a plasma condition, you cannot hold the plasma unless you have another plasma which can contain. So, your spirit has created a net around your soul. By field energy, nothing else. Could you just explain what, what you refer to as spirit? Soul of physicality. In, Thank you. In, uh, in, a, in a cultural, religious, you call it the spirit. Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is your soul of physicality. And in the work of the enhancement unit, when we put you in it, we, in a way, dilute this that allows the soul of the man to expand you. But still, this has a limitation to what he expands to, and where he gets in contact. If you have a balloon, and then you force this balloon, you fill it with air, and then you force it, you put pressure on it. What does it do? You see a little bubbles sticking out, because now the field pressure creates this. In the world of plasma technology, we don't put the pressure on it. We dilute the strength of the field of the, the spirit, the soul of physicality, and then the soul decides to go, brother, mother, another position in the galaxy. There's no difference. We don't let this to blow up and the balloon to explode. We allow, we reduce that, that this becomes the new shape. Now, the spirit, or the soul of physicality, is diluted inside. It'll be very interesting, in the coming time, when man matures in more detail, in the knowledge, you will see your physicality totally different. Now we look at the physicality of the man in a physical dimension this way. But when we become mature, and we look at our spirit, or the soul of physicality, we will not see the shape. No way. We will see a field transition. You know, the best way I can explain it, and I usually explain teaching with children, is you go on a rope. Yeah? You go on a rope, and this is your body, and you're trying to balance on this rope. You move your arm up, 
you move an arm down, you put a leg up, you put a leg down, and you find your balance to stay on the wall. But your shape doesn't change. It's very much the same as we'll see in the solar physicality, in the dimension of the energy. We see everything in a compact. In physicality, you move a hand and a body, body and leg to balance yourself. In a world of plasma, you create balance with your other systems in the environment. One day, when you understand this, this becomes very clear, you understand how, what the job of the, it has been when it's off. As always said, we give you a voice choice. It's beautiful. It's full of everything which a man is dream. Status of perfection when you are rich. In the knowledge of the man, we give you the knowledge of creed. Is that was right? How you know you have a soul in it. But the only difference is that those voices on the street doesn't belong to you unless we give you the key. It's the same with your soul. The Rolls Royce, the beauty of your soul is there. Now with the enhancement unit, we give you the key. The richness, the luxury of understanding, the knowledge of the creation, that's the only difference. You have, in a way, the key to the knowledge of the universe. Here you have a key to get into the physical matter to say you have reached the state of that. With the enhancement unit, we give the key to be able to enter to the knowledge of the universe. That's all it is. It's not a magic box. It's understanding the work of the universe. Understanding what it is and how we create that condition. I don't decide where you go. I don't decide how part of physicality manifests itself in that image. I've asked many people who've been through the system, and I said, you know, did you have a drink with your father or your brother, or whatever who died years ago? Yes, could you bring it back? No, because you're in the dimension of the energies. If you go in the dimension of physicality and you went to New York and saw your brother, and he shared a glass of wine with you, you can instill the glass in your hand because you're in the dimension of the head. But in the dimension of when your grandfather died and you met, in the dimension of soul, there's no physicality because he has lost, he has exchanged the maturity of the soul of his head. The spirit is gone. There's a difference when we travel you with the system. The spirit and the soul are together. When you die, you leave the spirit of the totality behind. That's why you cannot come back to create it. Because the, what I call, the composition of the physicality to become another part of other creatures does not allow it to come back. Because if you're going to bring all the pieces of the spirit of the man into creation, to come back to the future, as you call it, you'll be a piece of worm, and then God knows the lizard, and the fly, and everything else. The spirit of whatever they ate and whatever children it was created from them during the time of your death and this day. So it's impossible. But in the dimension of the soul, you don't have the spirit with you. You have the soul, the energy of the soul. And that's why I said, man, if man knew what happens to him after that, he has no dimension of physicality. And when the soul when the soul takes position in another dimension in the universe, then in that position, if it decides, if the conditions create an interaction with the fields of the inertia of the environment, then, then it will create its own physicality through the inertia of what we call the new spirit will be created. Because he has to slow down and then slow down, it changes the same with the Soul of the Creator, when it comes down, the uses becomes a man. But in essence, the fields of his creation. 